Egos are a huge part of the wrestling business, and when certain ones collide, the bad taste is left in their mouth for a long, long time. Paige and Lana. It seems as though drama just seems to find Paige over the last few years. Starting with this incident dating back to the days of NXT, Lana claimed that Paige was not only a phony character, but a bit of a bully backstage, which didn't sit well with the young Brit. That coming out after such a long time makes it seem like there is still quite the animosity between these two. Ken Anderson with John Cena and Randy Orton. Mr. Kennedy looked like he was a main event star in the making. But a series of unfortunate events led to his WWE release. Apart from an untimely suspension, this can be mostly attributed to the WWE's two biggest stars causing a fuss backstage. Cena and Orton both got heated backstage and claimed that Kennedy was too stiff in the ring. Of course, they were believed and he was released. And in an interview even a year ago, Anderson believes it was a scheme to get rid of him. CM Punk and Triple H. Both these men will feature more than once on this list. And it comes as no surprise as both men are very outspoken. Punk revealed on Colt Cabana's podcast that he didn't want to feud with Triple H at WrestleMania 30, claiming that Hunter needed him more than Punk needed Hunter. This and many other clashes over booking directions in the past has led to much animosity between the two. And like Punk's overall relationship with WWE won't be patched up anytime soon. Triple H and Bret Hart. Bret Hart has been highly critical of WWE stars from past and present since leaving the company. And in 2013, his target, the COO, the game, Triple H. Hart referred to Triple H as an average wrestler with nothing special compared to the other top guys in the company. Hart has made some WWE appearances since, which means he's on good terms with the company, but you have to imagine the two didn't get along during this time. CM Punk and Ryback. Once again, we see the inclusion because of CM Punk's infamous appearance on Colt Cabana's podcast, this time where he called out the big guy. He claimed that Ryback tried to injure him on purpose during their feud, while Ryback responded defending himself, claiming that Punk was only after sympathy. We have seen quiet jabs from Ryback on Twitter since, and although neither are with the WWE anymore, the resentment between the two is still there. Shawn Michaels and Jim Cornette. Chances are these days, if you're a wrestler, Jim Cornette may not be a big fan of you. The Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, and Kevin Steen are all subjects of shoot rants online by Cornette. But none have felt it quite like the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. During the peak of his career, Michaels was a nightmare backstage and found Christianity and turned his life around. Cornette doesn't believe this is genuine, however, and is still very bitter towards Michaels, even if Michaels has moved on with his own life. Triple H and Scott Steiner. Scott Steiner was a huge star in WCW and was greeted as such by the fans upon his WWE arrival. Unfortunately, his first feud with Triple H flopped. The two had terrible matches and upon his release, Steiner had nothing but bad things to say about the game. Since this time, after his immediate release, he has made comments about Triple H, his wife, and the entire WWE, not putting him in anyone's good book. Hulk Hogan and Bret Hart. Bret Hart was a major star in the WWE, but Hulk Hogan didn't believe so, and he refused to drop the title to Hart after he defeated Yokozuna at WrestleMania 9. This news absolutely crushed the hitman, and he hasn't forgotten about it almost 20 years later. Although he is bitter towards many WWE performers, Hogan was one of his main targets, saying in an interview in 2015 that he hoped Hogan would never return to the WWE after being fired. Chris Jericho and Goldberg. These two have very well-known beasts dating back to WCW. And it is a problem that didn't go away when Goldberg joined the WWE in 2003. The two had a backstage altercation that Jericho won, and we haven't heard much since. Recently, Jericho responded to a fan on Twitter asking if the two got along now. And Y2J replied, who? This may have been a joke, but the two have never publicly buried the hatchet. Shawn Michaels and Hulk Hogan. These are two of the most controversial backstage politickers in wrestling history. So of course, there is bound to be some kind of problem between them. With egos that are massive, they were bound to clash when the two were booked for a series of matches in 2005. The problem was, Hogan pulled out 
just before the first bout, claiming he could only wrestle one match and that he would be going over. This led HBK to overselling everything during this fight, which was seen as very unprofessional by Hogan. And the two have exchanged no pleasantries since then. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And remember to check out the rest of our awesome video content only on the Sportster.